you all doing? We are back to do some more YouTube videos. I am Nick from Turnip Starfish and this is Lexi. How are you doing Lexi? You okay? I'm good, thank you. I hope you're all doing really well at home. We are back to do some YouTube videos for our own channel, Turnip Starfish. Woohoo! So Lex, what are we going to do today? Today we are going to be drawing Rowlet from Pokemon and it's a really um, cute round Pokemon that's kind of like an owl type and it makes a really cute little noise saying like <laughs> Who does it best? Hmm. <laughs> uh, so uh, cool, this is our five minute draw isn't it? So we're going to do some five minute draws and some long draws today is a five minute draw. Lex, are you taking the lead today? I am indeed taking the lead today and we don't need you. So bye, Nick. Now that he's gone, let's go and draw. So today we are going to be drawing Rowlet. And to start with, we're going to be drawing a circle because that's the basic shape of Rowlet's body. So next we're going to split the circle in half, but at a diagonal angle. And then we're going to split it in half again, so that will help us with our guy, with drawing in our eyes and stuff. The nose comes about halfway between the top of the circle and the eye line, and goes underneath. It's a nice oval shape. The eyes aren't as tall as the nose, or as, well, as long as the nose. And we're just going to draw a little or a little oval in the middle, the centre of his eyes. Working on the beak slightly under um, the eye line is where we're drawing in like a triangle shape. Next thing we're going to do is draw um, his mask type shape. Now I'm just going to put a mark to the side of the eyes which shows me how thick around the side this shape goes. Okay, so I might have to make his head a little bit wider later on, but that's okay because that's why I press lightly. Next we're going to draw on like his bow tie type thing, so we're going to use um, like circles with triangles on the end. For the wings I'm going to be drawing in like oval shapes to help me first of all uh, to get the overall size of the wings and then I'll go back in and draw the feathers. So we start at the eye line and it doesn't go as high as the top of the head. And you can see little feathers on this side, so I'm just drawing them in, rounded triangle shapes. Onto the bottom part of the body, I'm going to draw in a slightly square shape and then for the feet we're drawing in triangles. The talons are like curved triangles slightly. And there you have it, Rowlet. 